Hello everyone, welcome back. Today in this lecture, we are going to configure the SSH. Okay, we'll learn how to configure the SSH that is secure cell in our routers and switches. Okay, so basically, SSH stands for secure cell. Okay, which is a cryptographic network protocol for operating network services securely over an unsecured network that is internet okay the best known example of ssh is remote login okay which we may which we know we can do a manual login okay remote login sorry to compress system all right so let's quickly see how to configure the ssh so for this i'm going to take a cisco router of series 1841 and i'm going to take a switch all right where is the switch this is the switch of series 2960 and i'm going to take a general pc okay for this scenario okay let us quickly connect the devices using the cable that is straight through cable Okay, straight through cable because these are unsimilar devices. Okay, for two similar devices we use cross cable. So I'm going to configure IP address of range 192.168.1.0 network. Okay, so that's 24 network. So okay. So in this terminal I am going to in this interface I am going to give 1.1 IP okay I am going to assign 1.1 IP so let quickly assign the IP address first then CLI oh no. alright enable command configure terminal interface that is our fast ethernet 0 slash 0 and then IP address 192.168.1.1 one alright to Okay, so we have assigned the IP address on this interface. So our next task is to assign the to enable the to configure the SSH. Okay, so to configure the SSH, firstly type the command IP IP domain name. Okay, with the help of IP domain name, you will create a domain. Just give any name that is I'm giving network zone okay IP domain name domain name will create the domain that is of named network zone okay and then you have to hit the command username I'm going to be Aziz and then password I'm going suppose cutify okay <laughs> or anything as you like so this username will create a username assist and this password will create a password okay now you have to type the command now you have to generate the line encryption keys for securing the SSH session okay so for this you have to type the command crypto key generate RSA okay okay for this command it is showing please define a host name or the then router okay so for to enable the, this command we have to change the router name so for this we are going to change the router name that is we know how to change it host name and I am going to give router name that is suppose yes alright so we have changed the router name so we are going to generate the keys for securing our SSH session that is crypto key generate RSA ok so it is asking for how many bit in the modules ok so starting from 512 I am going to give 1024 ok And then hit enter all right 
so you can see that generating 1024 bit RSA keys keys will be non exportable okay it means that the system will generate 1024 bits keys to secure the session lines okay so as much as you keep the higher value okay higher bit okay the system will generate that much of bit to secure your session lines all right so hit enter and now to now we are going to enable the ssh version 2 so for this type the command ip ssh version 2 okay so please note down that uh, for enabling the version ssh version 2 uh, you must have to put at least 768 bit key 68 value okay for generating the rsa all right otherwise it will not be supported okay so uh, for ssh version 2 the minimum bit requirement is 768 all right so ip ssh version 2 and then we are going to set the ssh timeout that is ip ssh timeout um, and giving the value that is 50 or 50 or and 40 let's see okay so we have we have set the timeout duration okay so also set the logging attempt that is ip ssh ip ssh authentication retries okay that is i'm going to give three all right so the basic configuration is done so we have to enable the vti vti lines and configure the access protocols okay so for this for en enabling the vti lines we know that we have to simply type the command line vti zero okay i'm just writing zero only uh, you can write zero to four or zero to five or zero to six as much as you want okay no i think you, you can go up to zero to fifteen now fifteen all right so line to by zero hit enter and then the command that you must remember is transport input ssl okay this command changes the line to secure cell so this is the important command that is transport input ssl so this is the only command that will change the line to secure cell all right transport input ssh hit enter okay so i'm going to give the password for the line with UI that is transport i think i have made a mistake transport input ssh and then the password for the line with UI that i'm giving cisco password is cisco right and then login okay so hit exit so this is the sim simple command okay to configure the ssh in our cisco router so let's ssh the router okay so before that i'm going to assign the ip address on this pc okay so IP configuration statically I'm going to configure the IP address on this PC that is 192.168.1.1.2 because 1.1 is already assigned to this interface so that is that will be our default gateway right 192.168.1.2 okay so we are done with static IP okay where is cross button right so i'm going to assess the router so for this hit the command ssh minus l 
and then username that you have made what is our username let's let me say what is the username i forgot Username is Asis, alright, and then password is QtPy. Okay, so as I said, Asis with the IP address that is 192.168.1.1. Alright, so it is so we have tenant the router via via SSH right so it is asking for the password that we have configured that is qtpi and then hit enter sorry C -U -T -P -P -I -E. okay it is not supporting the password what was the password i forgot again C -U -T -E -E -P -I -E. qtpi was the password i think it is asking for the Password for which password? Let us configure. Let us configure one password on the router also. Enable password. Cisco. All right. So let me check either Cisco. Okay, done. Okay. Now enable. It is asking for the password. That is Cisco. Okay. Now we are in the privilege configuration mode so we have so we have access the router via SSS alright so you can see we have gained the access to the router alright so that's all it's simply simple how to configure the SSS on the Cisco router okay so there are some basic commands you just need to remember and it is just similar like telnet okay that we have learned on previous lecture so if there is any doubt please put it out in the comment below alright so that's all for today thank you so much for watching see you soon